Well, Anna, sunshine, dry desert air, some of the biggest stadiums in, in world tennis. There aren't many better places to play the sport than here in California, are there? No, definitely. This is uh, one of the perfect um, uh, locations and also um, um, uh, facilities that we have you know and it's growing every year we have a new stadium and uh, I think there is like eight courts that have Hawkeye uh, challenging system so this is great for players too and uh, plenty of courts to practice and perfect conditions. And it's seven years since you claimed the title here at Indian Wells but what do you remember from that tournament win and how nice is it to return albeit a few years ago but as a former champion? That definitely makes me <laughs> sound old but um, I have lots of fond memories from this place I remember uh, winning the title in 2008 and then after with that I went on to win French Open and then actually reaching the final in 2009 too was a highlight and um, you know I always enjoy coming back to desert and competing here. You're actually one of nine former Indian Wales champions competing here, an amazing stat this week. I mean what do you think makes this tournament so competitive? Um, yeah, it's a big tournament, you know, a two-week event, and um, you know we call it fifth Grand Slam of the of the season, you know, and everyone wants to to do well and to peak here, and it's uh, obviously a very tough competition with the big draw, and uh, you know, um, like I said, it's 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 always a very strong field. Mm. And obviously, you know, great atmosphere here, but also a very different sort of playing style because of this dry, sort of thin desert air. I mean, just explain for us what that's like on court and how that playing conditions differ to the other tournaments. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, you work so hard and yet you don't sweat much, but yet you get that dehydrated. So it's a very um, different conditions, you know, especially comparing it to next week when we go into Miami where it's very humid and it gets windy. So um, you really have to, to stay hydrated and uh, it gets hot. So you have to, to really be... Um, ready for, for the match and hydrated and, and obviously for always. Uh, and does the way the sort of the ball move through the air as well sort of work better for different people's games? I mean, how yeah. does it suit your own game? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's every uh, court and every uh, ball and every uh, tournament is different, and some tournaments suit better for one player or the other. But uh, I personally like it here. You know, I, I always um, felt like I was feeling the ball good here, good rhythm. You know, the timing was right. So I hope I can keep that this week too. You obviously, you've been in terrific form of late. Last year was your first sort of top five finish uh, for five years. What's brought about this sort of turn, turnaround in form over the last year, do you think? Um, you know, last year I really um, embraced a little more the, the competition again and just also enjoying and having time off the court too and um, just doing other fun things and not um, not only, um, you know, focusing on on, um, on, on tennis and, and, you know, on enough time. So I worked hard and in off time I tried to relax a little more and to, to have more fun with it and that definitely worked for me. Yeah, and obviously back winning titles again for last year but is is the next step maybe to sort of get to the finals and winning some of these big tournaments again? Yeah definitely that's my big goal for this um, this season. Uh, last year I had four, uh, four titles which was uh, the most I had in a season so far so um, I really tried to get that um, positive momentum on and, and try to improve in, in a big event.